Hey you guys, Linwood here and today I'm going to show you how to tie the mosaic knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. My last two videos are right there. I put two of them there because one of them is a tie video and the other one here is actually one of my inspirational videos. So be sure to check those out if you haven't already. Links are in the description box below and by now you're tired of my hand motions. I don't know how to do sign language. I actually tried it for a bit, but it didn't work out. But let me move closer and we will have a better look and then we'll get started. So make sure you've got your tie up and draped because we're getting ready after this. So up close, mosaic knot, pretty awesome. I absolutely love this one. Um, it's rather detailed looking and it's honestly not that different from the embrace knot, which if you haven't seen the embrace knot, like I said, you can check it out in the beginning of the video where I had it there, or you can click in the description bar below. Um, but this is the mosaic knot. So I'm going to take this baby down and we'll get started. Okay, so just so you guys know, this one is slightly laborious. It is a little bit difficult because of all the folding and all that. So if you are a newbie to my channel, I would not recommend starting off with this one unless you are just up for a challenge, in which case you are totally awesome. Go for it. Um, but I've got my blade, which is the large end, sitting right at about my belt line. And the tail, of course, is my thin end over here on my left. I'm going to pinch off and create my power crease and pull to the center. We're going to pull our tail end right on over the blade, under and through the middle, just like so. Now, just so you guys know, usually this works better with like a medium to a thinner uh, thickness and tie. This one is really thick, so I hope I don't run out of fabric on you guys um, because it's very easy to do so with a really thick tie. So I'm then going to go ahead and fold in half like so and I'm going to make sure my smooth side's facing outward. So I'm going to go ahead and bring around the back and this part's going to be just like the embrace knot. So I'm bringing it up and over. We're going to bring it through this loop right here. And just pull right on through. Like I said, if you haven't already seen the Embrace Knot, you should totally check that out. It'll make this one so much easier for you. But of course, it, like I said earlier, if you're trying this the first time, you're totally awesome. Go for it. Okay, so I went ahead and brought around the back, keeping it smooth back here. And I'm going to continue to keep it folded in half. So I just fold there at the tip. And smooth, 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 smooth. Here we go. So I'm going to take an insert underneath this baby here and just making sure to keep it nice and folded in the meantime it makes it a little bit easier as you're moving along I probably will tighten this up after I'm done so this is where it can get a little tricky I'm gonna continue to keep it folded we're gonna go underneath there see this loop right here yes that one we're gonna go ahead and bring that baby and bring it through here and try to keep that folded as best as possible so let me get it there can I get it I've got it good deal okay I'm running out of tie so this should be interesting I may have to do a little bit of adjusting okay so from there I'm gonna go ahead and bring it around the back one final time and I'm going to come over this one under this loop like so. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, now notice I'm pretty much out of tie. So this is why it's important to use a, uh, what is the word, a thinner tie. But that's okay because we're totally going to work with it. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit and pull, pull, pull. There we go. And from right here, we're just going to go ahead and take that baby and it tucks right into there. And just tuck it nice and snug because there's a whole pocket back here. Like I can hide things in there and everything. It's crazy. Just like a whole pocket in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull that nice and snug. Pull it on up to the top like so. And this baby holds pretty sturdy all day long. Like you guys can kind of see what's going on there. I'm going to pull that collar right on down so you guys can get a final look at it. And there you have it, the mosaic knot. So let me back up some without tripping over the shoe on the floor because I've jacked up my face once this year already. So 
Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And earlier I was talking about trying out sign language, so let me know in the comment box below if you've ever been like me and tried out a language and it didn't work out for you. Uh, I'm on like my fifth one now, it's crazy. So uh, I used to speak German pretty fluently, but I lost most of it when I moved out of Germany. And I uh, tried Spanish, and when it got hard, I was like, bumped that. Um, that would be beneficial to learn because everyone always thinks I speak Spanish because, you know, I look like I do and I can roll my R's pretty well. And sign language, uh, let's just not talk about that. But I've got most of my ABC's down because I'm just that awesome. Until next time, you guys, take care and God bless. And as always, don't forget, you're fancy now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.